Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. Today we're going to be doing the first part of March Flip Through 2023. This book is just a single signature journal. I love the way it came out and I do believe just about every page is filled. Some are just journaled through pictures and some, you know, most of it is, is written on. Uh, this is also the first time I am trying out doing a video with my earbuds in, which is slightly more difficult for me because I really can't hear very much as it is. So <laughs> now with, you know, the earbuds plugging my ears, it's like I'm talking in my head. Anyway, <laughs> doesn't matter. I hope it works out for you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments. In fact, you will probably be hearing Monday's video. Yes, the ramble session should be with my earbuds in. So by then I will know if you guys can hear me better or not. So let's just get started. This journal I made like I have made the previous, let me see, like the previous three, I think, December, January, February, and this is, so this is number four that I've made this way. And it's made simply out of a white, a large white mailing envelope, nine by 12 envelope, just folded in half. Very simple to do. I do have a tutorial down below if you're interested. Uh, yeah, let's just get started. So the cover of this, I just covered it with a uh, scrapbook paper in the back. And I didn't do anything on the back. I generally don't do too much decorating on the fronts of my covers just because, you know, they go in on and off my shelf and, and whatnot. And so, yeah, I, I don't want anything like three dimensional really on them. So this is a painting I had done, uh, like a watercolor just very simple flowers. I have a tutorial also for that. You could probably find it in my playlist tutorials, sort of. So I will try my very best to go through uh, the first half of this month telling you where I get things and all of that. You know, uh, if, if there's something you need to know or you want to know, then just simply leave it down in the comment, the comment section below. So I took some of uh, this beautiful purple lace that I had got in a, an estate sale my husband and I went to. I think it was in February we went to that. But anyway, that's the closure on it. Again, a simple pamphlet stitch, you know, one signature in. I have 16 pages in the book and they're just folded in half. Okay, well, there could be more than 16. I'm not sure because sometimes I just have extra pages that I don't even journal on. I just leave them simply because they're pretty. So the inside of the cover again is blank. Sometimes I will put a pocket here to put certain things in. Sometimes I'll just leave it blank. This is a, just a piece of vellum that I printed on. I just love printing on vellum. And that idea I first got from Sweet Kanoi at Notes and Hues. So make sure to check out her channel right now she's doing a year-long bible study but she does have journal with me videos and she has fantastically beautiful journals junk journals so this right here that I did on my opening page was actually Allison and Melissa's prompt and I think this was the first one let me check Yes. And the hashtag is hashtag inspired to create underscore 2023. And the first prompt was green. So, well, look at that. I didn't even realize that I had squiggled green down that. <laughs> I did not notice. Anyway, uh, what you do with their prompts really quickly is you take the word and then it's kind of like an acrostic. So you pick words, um, that coincide with the beginning of, or the letters of, of the word, right? So G here would be girl. I got this out of a Swedish, uh, fashion magazine or clothing magazine. I'm sorry. Um, Rose, all of these, you know, these are just magazine clippings that I stuck behind that embossed. I used braille paper back here 
emblem I use this is the natural life uh, emblem is this little flower here I do believe so that's what I use for that and nature is she's you know it, nature all around I mean she's holding a palm frond it looks like a traveler palm and then this scrapbook paper no this was actually from the same magazine as I got her from so this was just paper with florals on it and then of course the florals in the back so I do I can't remember if my I must have picked these, I think. I think I picked them. Anyway, sometimes I, I have my husband pick them. Sometimes I pick them. Any which way. But it was super fun. And that was prompt number one for the month of March. Okay, so let's get into it. All right. Let me just make sure that you are all... Yes. Okay. So on this day... Now, all. let me just start out by saying all of my days of the week and my numbers all come from Loveland's life. I will have all the links below. This is clip art right here and this shows how many steps I do a day. It's really not all that accurate because you know like I'm walking around all day so this is just my walking in the morning basically. This is a stamp that I use to notate which videos I have filmed and so on this day I filmed a tutorial I do believe Oh yes, somebody said that they look like hyacinth. Hyacinths. That's the day that I did a tutorial on on how to make these super easy watercolor flowers. I'm not a watercolorist at all, but this is just so much fun to do. It's just three simple like dabs of your brush, you know, all in clusters and it's super simple. So if you want to know how to do that, then go ahead and check that video out. These are also clip art. I like to have these just to denote when either I send happy mail to somebody or I receive happy mail from somebody. So I like to keep those in here and I put the names of the people. So today I sent one to Aunt Geraldine and we had some seed packets in it. I sent her a, a, a hand painted card and it was her, for her 90th birthday. And this is the aunt of my stepmother. So I sent that that day and then I sent something to sweet Laura Shaw who is mom to triplets. I will put her link below as well. And then this right here, I do have these in the free printables section of my video description. Um, I like, I, I have, I would rather speak to people on the phone. I'm not a fan of texting back and forth. I just don't like it. So um, when I talk to my daughter on the phone, I put one of these phones in. I speak to my aunt every single Sunday at when? 9 or 9.30? 9.30, I think. And I speak to my stepmom every Tuesday at 2. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah. Well, coffee on the dock. Same as every other morning. <laughs> um, oh, it was cool out. 57 degrees. Woohoo. Yeah. And then when I got back home, the fog was coming in. It's just so beautiful on the when the fog comes in on the water. Yeah, it was cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. You might be hearing that coughing and clearing of throat a lot more clearly now. I don't know. Okay. So yeah. All right. And then big handsome, he made roasted vegetables and chicken to take over to Mama, Mama and Papa's house for dinner. And yeah, some watercolor flowers, uh, cards I sent out. And then we came home and watched, uh, oh, that's what happened. We were going to come home and watch New Tricks, which we, which is a like a, a British crime show that we really have enjoyed watching. And a lot of you guys said you enjoyed watching it too. Um, we were watching it on something. I can't even remember. Could have been Prime maybe. And then all of a sudden, yes, it was Prime. All of a sudden, now you can't get it through Prime. You have to buy an additional subscription to BritBox in order to get the show. And so that was super annoying to me because it's like, why do I pay, pay for Prime, you know? I mean, I pay for Prime for a lot of different reasons, but watching, you know, streaming through Prime is one of them. And then for them to just like take the show away right in the middle of while I'm watching it, not cool, not cool, Prime. So anyhow, yeah. This is just my own lettering right here that I just simply, you know, put on, I draw it 
or write it, you know, on copy paper and then cut each individual letter out, put it through my Xyron machine. And I just like the way that it looks. This is actually a photocopy of one of the florals that I had painted. And there's that. This background paper, just so you know, it's from a book that I have, a journaling book that I have. And um, it's like this already, you know, so that just in case this background right here is a notepad that I just stick on there. So, okay. And then this day here, super fun. We went live. I went live with Brooke from recreations by Brooke. And this was to do this right here. I simply took a photocopy of this. Um, and this was the project. This was prompt, I believe number two. No, forgive me. This was a prompt from February from Melissa and Allison. And then we did a giveaway because I had two of these. I made one on live during on live. I made one while we were live. And then I had already had one made up. And so we did a giveaway and sweet Melissa from the one who's doing the prompts in the first place won. So super thrilled that she was able to win it. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Happy birthday to my bra. Uh, yep. March 2nd. So woke to even cooler temperatures, 54. That Now I have to explain, we live in South Florida. It is perpetually summer here. So when it gets like below 70, it's cold. All right. It's cold. And we're in our long sleeves and, um, you know, all that. So yeah. And then plus, since we live like by the ocean, it's it can get quite windy, you know, so it's, it, it makes it even colder <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so I walked this day. I had some tea. This is from sweet Allison. She had sent me um, a happy mail and it was just very sweet. I love, I love Earl Grey. Oh, in fact, I had some last night. Anyway, uh, still went for my walk, even though it was cool out. <laughs> and then, yeah, I worked in my room until Brookie and I went live and that was a lot of fun. So make sure you check out Brooke's channel because the live is on there and um, she did a really cute, um, you know, prompt page for, for this particular prompt and it was a lot of fun going live with her and um, yeah, that's about it. She does all sorts of things also. So go over and check Brooke out on her Facebook page. Um, she has a lot of cool stuff on there. So then we found we okay so back here we couldn't watch our show because it was not on prime anymore then we looked on hulu and we found that it was on hulu so yay oh he's I'm, my husband was so happy because he was really bummed that it was not uh, on uh, or that we couldn't get it anymore and we we do not need any more subscriptions so it's it's getting ridiculous folks the subscription thing so anyway, down here also, this is clip art and this is for the Bible study that I'm doing. It's a 365 day Bible study, uh, Bible study every day this year. And it's been going famously and I love it. And then there are also lessons that I, uh, that I watch on Kanoi's channel, which is notes and hues. And so I will leave the link below and we follow the reading guide that is from Bible recap. So just so you know, that's what that's about. Usually I do it at night, but lately I've been trying to do it in the afternoon because I'm just so dang tired. This was also the month of sickness for my husband. Let me tell you, uh, he's still sick. I'm filming this on April 1st and he is literally still sick. Oh, and by the way, did I even tell you guys, this is my 49th book. So I've finished my 49th book. Lovely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, this right here is the perfume that I wear. Heavenly, it's called Heavenly by Victoria's Secret. It's what I have worn for years. And I opened my last bottle of, it's a rollerball one, you know, that I keep in my purse. And yeah, I opened the last one. So yikes, I need to get some. I ran out of my spray, my spray perfume. So I walked this day and then, okay, so temperatures were much warmer. And I can tell from this right here, we, we did not go to Arizona, but we went down to our kids place. Um, and so, 
yeah so now that it's a little bit warmer out oh my goodness look at that so it started out at 67 degrees but then it was close to 90 in the afternoon i love it let me tell you i would much rather be hot than cold I just would I don't know I can I can't stand to be cold I get a chill and it just stays with me and I can't get warm there's nothing I can do to get warm so anyhow um, it's so nice to wear dresses again yes I am a dress wearer I don't like pants or shorts or any of that you know, I just don't like it anyway so went for a nice long walk um, worked in my room for a bit Oh yeah, I had to make my March journal. So that was this, yeah, this was on a Friday. So I had to make, make my March journal and look at it. It's already March 3rd and this is the day I made my journal. <laughs> Better late than never. Then we got all packed up and we headed down to my kid's house. And when we got there, we need to get there in the afternoon because, you know, my kids work. So we want to get there after they get home from work. On the way down though, Right by our old house was this place called Now Sperry Farm, and they sell, uh, you know, homemade cinnamon rolls, and it's a huge thing down there. It's like a destination, believe it or not, for people, and so I said, well, let's just drive by and just see if there's no line, then we're good, you know, because let me tell you, you go on the weekends or you go after school hours, and there is like a four hour wait. I, it's crazy. So anyway, we got there to get some cinnamon rolls, not only for our kids, but also because my husband's sister was going to be coming into town up where we live. And, sh you know, they don't live down there anymore. So it's a special thing to get the cinnamon rolls. Anyway, we were able to get them. There was no line. It was fabulous. And then as soon as we left is when the line started out the door coming out the door so yeah so we got to our kids house and they had given me my son and his fiance had given me this sweet sticker from Arizona because they had just been a couple weeks before like a week before the weekend before I can't remember and then my sweet um well my soon-to-be daughter-in-law gave me a beautiful desert rose and it's this is it right here I keep it right on my desk it's so gorgeous and it is not hand uh, not man-made okay it's nature made <laughs> and it's beautiful and you find them in the desert and yeah it's just gorgeous so sorry for the reach <sighs> and now there's dirt anyway so that was just so sweet of them to think of me and then this night too, okay, so I went to the store with my daughter right after work and we had, she made chicken enchiladas, which were so good. And um, yeah, they were really good. And then they gave me a desert rose. Yes, I already said that. Okay, then that evening after my husband had gone to bed, he was so tired. Like I didn't know what was going on with him, but we got to the house and he laid on the couch and he was out like a light while my daughter and I went to the store and then early in the evening he was really tired and so he went up to bed and then um yeah he just he went to bed super early so we just sat and had a glass of wine this really nice um I think it's locally made over on the west coast of Florida Island Grove and it was blueberry wine it could have been blueberry Moscato I'm not really sure but it was really yummy. And then we played a game called Telefunken. And there are various variations of it, but it was super fun. And my um, my son's fiance had learned how to play it at work. And it's a Peruvian version. And so, yeah, so we spent the evening playing that. And it was just really a lot of fun. And I, I love hanging out with my kids and yeah, my heart is full and poor Big Handsome was so tired. Yeah, so it was it was a fun evening. And then Saturday, let's see, did we leave the state? No, um, I don't think we did. So Saturday, the kid, well, the kids have Prosecco. Mm -hmm. Aren't they fancy? Uh, they just had some in the fridge, probably left over from New Year's, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, my daughter was at school that day. Unfortunately, she had to work that day because they had an open house at school and I had a good night's sleep, which is good. And then we just hung out at home. Uh, the kids went to, went out shopping in the afternoon 
And then we, we realized poor Big Handsome was getting sick and no wonder he was so tired. And we determined that obviously he could, he could have gotten it from anywhere, but our niece, uh, our, yes, our niece and nephews, grandniece and grandnephews were sick. Like their whole family were sick. Like the week before a couple weeks, even for a couple weeks, they were like super sick, strep throat, the whole nine, you know? And, um, yeah, so I'm not, he must have gotten it from them again. They, you know, they, he could have picked it up from anywhere, but nevertheless, he was sick and he has not been sick literally like this in 10 years, like for real. Um, yeah. So, and he's still sick. I mean, we're talking, this was at the beginning, the 4th of March, he got sick. It is April 1st now, and he is still coughing. It's horrible. In the center of it, I thought he had pneumonia. I, it was crazy. Anyway, this is a cute little picture. <laughs> this was on the whiteboard that sticks to my son's um, refrigerator, and his fiance drew the pictures of him, my son, or of, of her, my son, and my daughter. And so I just thought it was so cute. So I had to snap a picture of it. She's really creative and is a wonderful drawer. And, um, and then Big Handsome had a man to man with sunshine. Um, yeah, and it went well. And then they ordered a Hawaiian Cuban pizza, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. And it was really good. I, I, this is not the first time I've had Cuban pizza, but it was super good. And then we played the telefunken game again, and that was a lot of fun, um, but yeah, Hawaiian Cuban pizza, which is kind of funny because Hawaiian pizza is really Canadian pizza. I don't know why they call it Hawaiian pizza. I guess because the pineapple, but I think it's originated in Canada. I don't know. Y'all who are Canadian, let me know. But And then it's Cuban to boot, right? So it was like a multicultural pizza. <laughs> uh, yeah, just some quotes I put on here. And live, love, laugh. Work hard, LOL, because live, love, laugh is like a, an, an inside joke. And you'll see later on why. This is one of those pages I was talking about. Some I generally put 16 pages and fold it in half because that gives me enough pages for one month of journaling. But then with these journals, I've been adding a few extra pages in because when I come to a page like this, I don't want to cover it up with my journaling because I think it's beautiful, you know. And so I just leave it as is and I'll just journal on the other side. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So this is this page. Here's my husband. Oh my gosh. He was, he felt so unbelievably sick. It's not even funny. This little thing here I put on Brad is just kind of like a little interactive thing. We went to McDonald's. We passed by a McDonald's on the way home when we get off the exit for our house and, um, it's usually around lunchtime. And so we just grab a burger or whatever on the way home. And this actually came from his cup. <laughs> so I cut it out of his cup, punched it actually out of his cup. Um, I filmed my ramble session this day because of course it was a Sunday. I had some orange spice tea with lemon um, and honey in it because my throat was starting to feel funky and I was not a happy camper at all. So, um, yeah, my husband was just horrible. He was horribly sick and it was just really bad. And on top of, you know, he deals with chronic pain every day. He's got other health issues and it's just, uh, I was not happy at all. So anyway, yeah, we left and we came home. The kids left the same time we did. They were going to the beach and then to an Asian festival. So that was fun for them film my video. Um, and then big handsome and I just relaxed on the couch. We caught up with our show and yeah, he started taking all the quills. Yeah. And then I told him, I said, you need to start taking mucinex. He it's just, it's like the last thing he needs is to be sick, you know, on top of everything else that he deals with, he just does not need to be sick. And when people are sick around us, we literally try to avoid them like the plague. And it didn't work this time. So <laughs> there's that, right? Okay, this day I started feeling sick. Yes, so this actually came from this magazine or this catalog. 
Natural Life catalog. It's a very small catalog. You can go online and look up Natural Life and you can order a catalog. It's very small. It's only about this big and it only has about six pages in it, but they have beautiful images in it. So I put that here because I was not feeling well. This right here comes from on Instagram, her hashtag or it's at really her handle is called hammer flower and she literally takes flowers puts them on a piece of paper and hammers them with a hammer <laughs> this I believe this flower was probably a red or pink deep pink uh, oleander and it came out purple it's on watercolor paper but it came out super cool and I was just trying it out just for fun but then I made, uh, I ended up making a thank you card for my son and his fiance for giving me the desert rose. So yeah, I collected flowers on my walk this morning and I was, yep. Okay. So I was trying to hammer oleander blossoms. Yeah. And it was, it was cool. It was really cool. And then I made a card and I think I prefer watercolor. Yeah. <laughs> It's a lot, it's not a lot of work. It's just, yeah, it's easier, I guess, for me because I'm lazy to just get out my watercolors and try to paint something. So it was a beautiful day out. I went for my walk. Um, oh, and my, and then this was aggravating too. My sister-in-law came in, my husband's sister and her girls came in and one of her girls has a chronic illness. And so obviously the last thing she needs is to be sick. Nobody wants to be sick. So we ended up not, they were going to be here the whole week and my husband was so, so sick. And so it was like a cold, you know, and it wasn't the C word. It was just a super bad cold that went into his chest and it was just, it was bad. So I didn't know if I was getting sick. I spoke to my girl this day, my beauty queen. And yeah, he now, by this time, my husband, it was like sounding like he was coughing up a lung. Like I had told him if he doesn't get any better, he's going to have to go to urgent care because it surely sounded like pneumonia or something to me, but it was horrible. And he needed to start Mucinex and he's literally been taking Mucinex for like a month now, I think. It's crazy. And especially like with him, like I said, because he deals with so many health issues anyway, um, it just, it takes him a lot, you know, his immune system is down. So it takes him a lot longer to get over things. And so, yeah, that it just was, it, this whole month has not been a super fun month. I just have to say. So, um, yeah. And especially the, the first parts of these, the first part of this month was like just being sick, like him being sick on the couch all day. I was feeling like I was sick. I was on the couch all day. Anyway, so this day here, I guess we both got a burst of energy this day because I vacuumed and mopped the whole house. I'm still drinking my tea. We had a beautiful full moon this night. It's so beautiful watching it rise over the, the, um, the horizon, you know, in front of us. And it's just so, so beautiful. So I always try to catch the full moon rising. Uh, spoke to my stepmom, watched our show. This was a pretty page. Um, it's just a piece of note paper glued on here. I glued some of the extra flowers that I had cut out from this. Yep. And glued them on here. I stenciled in the background, put some sweet washi tape that Allison had sent me. Uh, I did not walk this morning. I don't think I walked a lot this week. Oh no, I did. Oh, it must've been a different week. I don't know. Anyway, I mustered up the energy to vacuum up and clean a bit. And then after Big Handsome worked out, he had a small burst of energy too and blew out the garage. Like the, you know, I don't know what it is. Like uh, trimmings, you know, like the people come by and they do the yard work. And sometimes like if our garage door is open, do you think that they just like skip our house? Oh no, no, they don't. No, they blew everything right into our garage. Like are you kidding me right now? Anyway, it's our fault, I guess, for having the garage door open, but you would think that they would just be like, oh, I don't want to get crap all in their garage. I'll just skip this and, you know, no. Anyway, doesn't matter. So he blew out the garage. He moved the deck boxes. We had, um, like dock, you know, deck, deck dock boxes, you know, so he put those outside 
and um, straightened up the outside dock area. And then we went into town. We went to Home Depot and to Publix. And we took Remington with us because he can go into Home Depot, no problem. Um, that's my air conditioner if you hear that. So, oh, and then um, our sunshine texted to say he got an 89 on one of his exams. We are so proud of him because he is in class now to be a, what is it called? He is, he's a nuclear operator, but oh, a license to get his license. So yeah, that's different than just being a regular nuclear operator. So cool. Um, and then, yeah, I was so tired this day. I went to bed be even before nine o'clock. This is one of those pages where there's no journaling at all. Um, my son, I had sent my kids a picture of the full moon. And then the next morning, my son sent us a picture of the sun rising because he was watching it rise on his way to work and super cool. And um, this beautiful, I know, I'm pretty sure I got this from, it's a, a card, right? But I used it, I made it into a tuck spot and um, it's from Jersey Laura. So beautiful. Yes, I've been going through my stash and I'm like, I need to use this beautiful stuff up, right? Every moment is a fresh beginning. I just love it. I love it so much. And, um, and then I did my walking. I filmed, I filmed this day, um, is when I filmed making this, I believe. So yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we watched new tricks, did my Bible study, left this like it was because it was a nice little poem. Um, and then here I'm in bed. I know, right? Oh my gosh. So over it, like not even funny, right? So this is just more of me lamenting about how, <laughs> because, uh, it could have been avoided, you know? I mean, I guess you can't avoid everything. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's not like we're, we're shut-ins, you know, we're outside and about in public all the time, but, uh, I just, I have always been one to avoid people that are sick. Like if you're sick, do not come around me. And if I am sick, you better believe I am. I am. What are the, what did they call it back then? Like, um, I can't even remember my gosh. It was, uh, yeah. Like, you know, during the C period, like in 2020, when you couldn't go anywhere or do anything, I can't remember what it was called. I'm sure one of you guys will tell me, but that's what I do. <laughs> like I shut myself in. I don't go around other people anyway. So I was still feeling miffed because we couldn't see my, um, sister-in-law and her kids. Cause I, you know, we don't get to see them very often. They don't live here. So anyway, big handsome, still super sick. I don't feel good. I don't feel like doing anything. We spent a lot of time on the couch this week. Um, I did send out my thank you to my son and his uh, fiance. Um, and then, yeah, I just mostly rested like I'm sleeping on and off and just, yeah, hanging out with my husband. Although I do, I did film my two February flips this day. So at least I got something done. And then, yeah, we watch our evening shows and that's pretty much it. And then this was kind of, this was super funny, actually, not just kind of, but um, my sweet friend, Allison from AJ's Inspired Life sent this to me because when I was on the live um, with Brooke, I'm, I'm just naturally a self-deprecating kind of person. You know, I, I, I don't know, you, you know, I don't, I don't know. So it's very hard for me to take a compliment always. And so she sent me this and I had to put it in my book just because I thought it was cute. We paid off the rest of our dock. Yeah, that was great. Um, but at least it's all finished now. I was a little bit miffed with that too. I get miffed quite easily, I have to say, uh, because we had discussed with the dock guy a green light that goes underneath the dock to shine into the water and it must, it has to be green because we have turtles here and uh, it's, it's a thing. Anyway, um, we ended up not getting it because it wasn't written in the original contract because the original contract was written over a year ago. That's how long they took to finally get our dock started, which was started uh, at the end of last year. And yeah, so we get to the end and I'm like, dude, where's my green light? And he's like, oh, it wasn't in the contract. I don't, I don't remember talking about it. And I'm like, well, guess what, buddy? I do. So I could probably go back in my book back, like way back, like a, 
a year ago or whatever, a year, yeah, a year ago at least, and say how excited, it, it will say how excited I was that we were going to get a green light. Yeah, we ended up not getting it. So that was irritating. Anyway, <laughs> I was in the on the couch a lot. Again, no walk again for me today. I had a salad. I like to put food packaging in here. Food packaging. I had some tea. Um, Big Handsman, I went to town for a bit. Oh, we were on the hunt for plastic wine tumblers. Um, no one has them. I don't understand that. Again, we live in South Florida. We live in perpetual summertime, okay? Everyone has a patio here, and you don't want to take glass out onto your patio. You want to take plastic onto your patio, and yeah. You know those times like when you're looking for something, you can never find it? Guess what? There's going to be a time when all I see when I'm out is plastic wine tumblers. I just know it. I ended up getting them through uh, Amazon. <clears throat> excuse me and so yeah um poor big handsome he's just getting his butt kicked by this cold I mean it was horrible guys and it's still going on to this day a month later and it's still going on so there was that this nothing on here again the pictures say what's going on it was Saturday the 11th our Remington finally got a bath I watched um Allison from AJ's Inspired Life and I watched Messy Missy Melissa from Messy Missy Creates and they did a live doing one of their prompts and it was a lot of fun. I really enjoy um, getting involved in lives and, and chatting back and forth in the chat box and it's just super fun, you know. Um, there was no really writing necessary here at all. My husband finished a cabinet he had made for the kids. He didn't make it. He modified it, modified a cabinet to be a laundry thing for them. Um, I filmed a Your Creative Studio unboxing. And so that's how that page turned out. And then out and about. So my husband and I were out and about and yep, yep. It's that time in my life. 50 plus. I am 50 plus, but um, I'm not 50 plus plus. Okay. I'm just 50 plus. So yeah, I just, we had seen these, I think at Ollie's and I was like, you know, I don't take vitamins. Maybe I should. So yeah. So we went ahead and got those. We went to a bunch of different places. Uh, oh, the time changed. I found this online. I thought it was so cute. Dang time change had to go around and fix all my clocks today. Um, it was a Sunday. So I filmed my ramble session. I talked to my aunt, um, looking for wine tumblers. I finally uh, ordered some on Amazon with another order that I'll show you in a little bit. But we were at one of the stores and my husband found a nice thin shirt for his working out, which was good. He's always on the hunt for thin shirts to work out in. Kind of like dry fit, kind of. But anyway, and I found, I actually found a flattering bathing suit. Who knew? Who knew flattering bathing suits existed? Okay. I didn't, but I found one. So that was nice. Um, and then, um, I know my, my sister-in-law, I think was still here. Or she left this day to go home and they ordered a pulse oximeter for my husband because he was just, uh, so sick. Like I just cannot express how sick he was. Uh, no fever though, that I know of no fever that I know of, but he was super, super ill. And, um, his other sister was worried about him because her husband had a huge scare when he had the big C. My husband did not have the big C, but when her husband had the big C, his oxygen levels were super low. And so she was worried about her brother. So she sent a pulse oximeter <laughs> and his pulse was fine or, and his oxygen was fine as well. So, um, yeah, so we're still at home. We're still at home. Um, and yeah, and then this day here, this was the start of February and June's um, prompts. She does them once a month and they're for just the five days of the week, Monday through Friday, and they are of the senses, the five senses. And uh, her handle on... Instagram is February and June. Okay. All one word, February and June. So you can look her up on that, or you could simply go to the link that I will have below that has her YouTube channel. 
She has super fun journals that she does. Uh, so it was super sunny out today. The This was about taste, document a go-to favorite recipe. And right here is my one of my favorites lately. There's a picture of it, but it looks like a black blob. But is um, my like Mediterranean or Greek chickpea salad. And you can, there it is right there. You can screenshot it or whatever you want. Yep, it's chickpeas, a can of olives, a small can of olives, um, a pepper, a cucumber, red onion, crumbled feta, um, olive oil, lemon juice, salt and pepper to taste an Italian seasoning. You mix it all up and it is so good. I eat it for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I love it. And so let's see. Oh, these right here, though, these clouds and this come from Sweet Jill at Jilly Bean Studio. So I'll have her link below as well. Um, woke up at four. Yeah. Okay. So I guess I got enough sleep. <laughs> did I walk? Huh. Oh, yeah, I did. I walked. Um, yeah, I love it. So I love my mornings when everyone is still asleep and it's just me and the stars. I love it. I get up at five. Well, this day I got up at four, but I get up at five. And now with the time change is back to being dark in the morning. And I love it. That is probably my most favorite time of the day. Um, went for my walk run and it was lovely and cool. Yep. Finished my notes for Bible study. Okay. This is, this is when I sent Melissa's, um, she had won the giveaway when, when we did the live and I sent that out. So why don't I have that thing on here? That's interesting. I, I guess I just wrote about it. Usually I have one of those little things, the little papers that say that I sent happy mail. Hmm. But anyway, I got her happy mail already. Okay. Did absolutely nothing the rest of the day. Couch cuddles. All right. I did make an Amazon order. So I ordered the wine tumblers <laughs> for the patio, um, faith-based sticky notes, stickers, Remington stickers, and an Energel pen pink. Yep. And then we had pork stir fry at Momo and Papa's. And yeah, we had a, my mother-in-law's friend was in the ICU and it was not looking good. Um, and then Amazon order. Did I get, I got the stuff like the next day. Good grief. I guess maybe this is the Energel pen I had. I love it. Let me see if I have it here. Yes, I do. It's this one right here. I love it so much. It's my favorite pen. In fact, I'm going to need to get some refills. I didn't get the refills, but look, I've already used that much ink already. I use it for everything. I love it. And all I did for that drawing is I went like this <laughs> and traced around it and then just drew it in. And then if you can see, it's like shimmery because I colored it in with glittery pens. So that was a lot of fun. And then I spoke with my um, stepmom and my daughter this day. This is, these are the Remington stickers that I had ordered. They are so cute. These little poodle stickers. And these are, um, the faith-based stickers. And then we were in Deuteronomy here and, oh, I had twisted my knee the day before. Hmm. That wasn't good. It was cold and windy here. So I did not walk. So this was the week I didn't walk most days, I think. Um, oh yeah. And then I spent hours in my room setting up an Amazon store, which is linked down below. So every time I order something like craft wise for, from Amazon, it will go into that Amazon store so that whatever I talk about will be in there, you know? So if you're like interested in the Pentel Energel, it should be in there. If you're interested in the faith-based stickers, they should be in there. If you're interested in poodle stickers, they should be in there. You get the idea. So this was Tuesday and um, this was February and June's uh, prompt and it was C. So what was the best thing you watched today? The best thing I watched today was Big Handsome Cooking Dinner. Yes, it was. Because about three times a week, we go over to his parents' house for dinner. They just live a couple blocks from us. And he plans the meals ahead and he prepares them in the afternoon. And I just love his servant's heart. Yeah. And that is his love language. One of his love languages is just acts of service. You know, he loves, 
um, doing things for other people, you know? And so I love it. I love watching him do that. And then, so this right here, this half page and this was for Tuesday. And then I think all this was for Wednesday. Yep. Wednesday was hearing, what did you hear? So I, I have tinnitus. So <laughs> it was actually, let me see, spend some time just listening. I didn't really do that, but, um, mostly I can just hear the constant ringing in my ears. So that it's, yeah. And then I heard an obnoxious group of grackles. They are so loud. They're just like blackbirds. Um, and then otherwise I was listening to praise and worship music while I worked in my book here. And then th these are drip drops. The, these I get at Walmart and they're super helpful. They're three times the electrolytes. Um, and it's for dehydration, fast relief. Now people use them for a variety of reasons. I use them because my body is just constantly like dehydrated, you know? So, um, yeah, so I need to be hydrated. <laughs> that's, that's the bottom line. And that's due to part of my, um, chronic illness. So yeah. And they work really well. So yeah. Um, and then it was gloomy and chilly out this day, St. Patty's. This is the prompt for, uh, inspired to create by Allison and Melissa. I woke late. I shut my alarm off. I had a headache. That's why I had this because I, I had a headache when I woke up and that's always seems to be due to dehydration. So I need to drink more water. It was cold and windy out. So I did not walk again. Um, I created the tag for prompt three, which is over here on this page, which I will show you in the next video. Um, and then I call, I know I texted my, um, daughter-in-law to be, she was starting a new job this day. So I texted her to wish her a good first day. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's what happened. So there is the first half. Good grief. That took forever. The first half of March. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I will put up the second one very soon. I really, really enjoy these simple little books. They're just fantastic. And I made another one for April. I just love them. I love them. They're super easy to make. So make sure you check out that link below on how I make them. So I will bid you adieu. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you could hear me loud and clear. Let me know in the comments. And also if you have any questions about where things came from. If you're wondering where I got her from, I have no idea. So there's your answer for that. And uh, yeah, I will thank you for your time. I know it's precious and I'm so thankful that you choose to share it with me. I really hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a wonderful week, and I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.